Hi there. In this video, we will be looking at the Syncfusion WPF Studio. The Syncfusion WPF Studio is a suite of 100 plus frameworks and controls for the WPF platform. It is one of the most powerful, most comprehensive suites of such controls available on the market. One of the things that is unique about our platform is the way in which the controls are kind of packaged together. It's an easy set of samples to get you started with your projects. So I'm looking at the sample browser environment that showcases all the controls in one location. So on the left side, we can see a list of controls. Um, so for each control, I can drill down. I can look at the data grid, for instance, and then uh, just quickly click through and see all the different samples that are available for the data grid. And for any given sample, there's a little description and a screenshot of the sample in action. And I can click on the Explore Sample link, and uh, the sample is essentially standalone. So I should I can compile it um, in any of these versions of Visual Studio for which project files are provided, and run it that way. I can also look at the code from within the environment that uh, is provided here. Um, I can look at uh, anything of interest uh, right here from within the sample browser environment. I can also launch the sample by simply clicking on the Launch Sample button. It will compile the solution using the right version of uh, Visual Studio installed on my machine and then run the sample and I can uh, work with it that way. So um, we also ship uh, a lot of uh, uh, showcase samples which aggregate different uh, controls and frameworks and kind of uh, put together um, a collection of these. So I'm going to walk through a few of these just to give an idea of what is available. So I have this uh, healthcare demo application uh, which I'm running now. It has a grid uh, that's nicely themed and uh, shows a few uh, rows of information so I can look at a particular uh, patient and uh, get a list of their uh, vitals, uh, have a chart that um, shows this information at the bottom pane and I can also look at the history and, and so forth basically. I also have a really nice uh, visually appealing dashboard, car dashboard, auto dashboard built with our gauge control so it's really nice and powerful. Uh, showcases the power of that control in a nice way. I um, also have an interesting sample that uh, uh, shows a stock UI that you may be familiar with uh, from other environments. I can actually have a slider um, that sets the bounds of the chart at the top pane and that slider can also be moved across the bottom uh, range in order to get a view uh, uh, the chart view updated. So right now I'm actually looking at part of 2010 and 2011 at the bottom and that's the area for which the summaries are created here. Our chart has support for technical indicators so I can actually for example choose these technical indicators and have them appear on the chart right here. Another um, uh, really nice feature of our studio is uh, the ability to work with um, office file formats uh, so we can import and export from Word, import and export to Excel, uh, also have support for PowerPoint which we will see shortly. We also have really good support for PDF. So here I have a simple invoice uh, which is displayed uh, from within a C-sharp uh, WPF application here and I'm going to just export that to PDF and um, the code that I run uh, will do the export and this is the result of the export basically. And uh, please note that this doesn't use anything. There are no third-party dependencies. I'm not using an Adobe SDK or anything. Everything is included as part of the Syncfusion WPF Studio. And I can do the same thing for exporting to Word or Excel and, and so forth. So that's uh, something that's also available as part of the product itself. Uh, really rich support is available for this. So if you look at the samples, you will see a section called File Format. Um, and under that you will see uh, different um, aspects of these samples, uh, of these products that are covered. The Excel SIO product is the Excel one, Doc.io for Word, uh, PDF for PDF. We also have a PDF viewer which I will also showcase in a few, few seconds, a few minutes. So uh, the sales analysis demo is another interesting demo. Uh, it shows our map control. It has a similar range um, navigator at the bottom. Uh, but when I uh, select the data here or I filter it, then the map is also updated to uh, show that information. And we have a gauge at the left that uh, summarizes the total sales for that period uh, for the geographies that we are looking um, at. I can click on a particular region and drill down and, and, and look at um, other metrics that way as well. It's really full-fledged support for mapping. 
Uh, this is a PowerPoint viewer that we have, a PowerPoint viewer demo. So we can take a PowerPoint uh, file and uh, you can visualize it from within WPF. We provide a ready-made viewer uh, that can um, handle uh, PowerPoint files. So it's really rich support for creating PowerPoint files um, and also for uh, visualizing them uh, within your WPF applications. Another interesting uh, sample that we have is um, editing uh, of Word, editing support for Word documents or showcases editing support for rich documents. So this sample uh, um, shows a, a simple document, a Word document being edited. Uh, and this is a custom application that's written with our editor. And you can save that, uh, persist it as a Word document. So you see that we have full support uh, for persisting and opening uh, Word files. A lot of the features that we would expect to see are uh, supported. It's not 100% everything that is available in Word, but uh, most features that you would need, uh, such as embedded tables and so forth, all supported. We have a rich uh, spreadsheet environment as well, so if you have a need to have a spreadsheet complete with, uh, you know, embedded charts and so forth, uh, that is supported uh, within the uh, Syncfusion Essential Studio WPF product. So this is a spreadsheet uh, control in action. Uh, we have a nice ribbon at the top, and uh, you can actually have all your custom features embedded here. And it's a really full functional uh, spreadsheet control, so you can actually have it uh, persist as, as Excel files, um, open Excel files, and so forth. And all of this can be embedded within your WPF application. There's a really nice pivot chart uh, and pivot uh, and pivot grid application as well, uh, pivot grid demo as well. So I'm looking at that here. So I can, uh, for instance, uh, choose the fields. Um, I can remove a field. Um, I can change the type of value. I can um, have uh, Pretty much whatever you would expect to do with a pivot in Excel, um, you can do here basically. Let me quickly look at the uh, PDF viewer also. I have uh, a few samples here. So this is a sample that shows one of our books, ebooks uh, from the Succinctly series. So this is an embedded PDF viewer, so you can actually ship this with your applications um, without having any dependency on any SDK or anything like that basically. So it's, it's really cool some of the other samples with uh, multiple tabs, being able to render these PDFs and export them as an image and so forth. Uh, we have a really fully functional Gantt chart environment, so you can actually uh, see this in action here. So if you have a need uh, for a Gantt chart, you don't have to do much work to uh, get that embedded in your application. Uh, really rich support for maps, uh, as we looked at, uh, full-fledged diagramming library, so if you uh, sure familiar with Visio, you can have a visual like diagramming experience right within your application. So whether you want to just visualize it or you want to allow editing, um, all of these things are supported out of the box uh, with, with our uh, diagramming product. There's a tree map uh, control, uh, just a quick look at that. Um, excellent support for docking. Uh, we have one of the most complete uh, docking frameworks on the market. Uh, you know, there's very little that you can't do with, uh, with our docking. Everything is has supported and supported in a way that makes sense. It's very extensible, um, and you can implement exactly what you need uh, without having to write a lot of code. So that's uh, something else. Uh, card view, uh, carousels. Uh, we have a cool uh, radial slider. Uh, you may have seen this uh, in some uh, Microsoft applications. Uh, we have those. There's a syntax editor that allows you to embed uh, um, an editor right within your applications that is syntax aware so you can have uh, support for your own uh, languages or the languages that we support out of the box. So here we have Iron Python uh, displayed within the uh, syntax editor. We have a full fledged schedule control. Uh, you know, if you're familiar with Outlook uh, scheduling, uh, so you have the complete system there um, and uh, you can also lay it out in other ways um, if you have uh, need for resource. Uh, availability or resource management, uh, we have a group by resource option, so you can actually uh, do that. So that's uh, support for Spark lines uh, that you may be familiar with from Excel. Um, so that's just a quick run through of, uh, oh, I um, also have full support for OLAP um, environments. So if you have a backend that's uh, OLAP enabled or if you um, have uh, data that can be visualized in a pivot form, uh, it's very easy, super simple to bring it in, look at your KPIs, look at your measures uh, from your uh, OLAP system uh, right within our environment here, basically. 
Okay, one more sample that I'd like to show before we end this demo is a sample that exports data from within a WPF application uh, to Excel. And uh, the actual code to do that, uh, as you can see it here, is uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's uh, not a whole lot of code. It's just a few lines of code. So I have uh, this workbook uh, that I'm uh, creating, and then I have, uh, I'm configuring a pivot table and then uh, setting it up from some data, basically. So that's really all uh, there is to it that I'm persisting it as a uh, workbook. And, and then I'm just running a shell command to uh, start Excel to view the file. So let's run this sample. Um, and uh, this is going to create a complete workbook uh, with not only the data, but also a pivot table that's pre-configured and ready to go. So I can actually, as a business user, um, interact with it uh, and actually remove fields or add fields and just, you know, play around with the data just as I would with a ready-made Excel uh, pivot table. It's very powerful stuff if you are sharing data with business users. And all it took was just a few lines of code. Uh, all the heavy lifting is done by the uh, Syncfusion XLSIO library. So that was uh, just a quick run through of a WPF product. Hope you like it. Uh, if you're interested in finding out more, you can go to syncfusion.com and uh, download a fully functional evaluation version that's good for 30 days. Um, you can All the samples are shipped with the evaluation. You also get support during the um, evaluation period. Uh, we have this uh, support system called Direct Track. You can go to the website and click on the support menu and you can um, ask questions or um, ask us for samples and so forth. Good luck with your evaluation. Thank you.